So far in all the weekend downloads, I haven't done too bad. I mean, in the first series, we've done BMXing. In the second series, we've done trail biking. <sighs> but then they decided to take one of the wheels off. Mm. Take a look at this. Welcome back to another weekend download. Now, if you thought unicycling was something that just happens in a circus... Well, you're wrong. I'm Ed Hawks, I'm 24. I'm an extreme unicyclist and I've been riding for eight years. I am the UK street champion. I also entered the trials competition last year and came third. I'm Simon, I'm 17 and I've been riding for about four years now. Yeah, there was the national championships last December and I came second in street and fourth in trials. There are two main types of extreme unicycling. One of them is trials and the other one's street. Street unicycling is doing tricks on and off of obstacles in an urban environment. And trials is more about how high you can jump and how far you can jump between obstacles. I ride because it's good fun and it's different. You don't see many people doing it. When you start unicycling, it's really hard and it takes a lot of commitment, but that's what I enjoy about it. My favourite trick at the moment is riding along rails. Um, it's where you ride up to a rail, jump onto it, and then use your balance to ride along it and jump off the other end. Um, you should only do that when you're more advanced. My favourite trick at the moment is called a 720 side spin, which is where you jump off the unicycle, spin it 720 degrees while wrapping your leg around it, and then land back on the pedals. It's a pretty hard trick. Right, time for me to give it a go. I mean, how hard could it be? It's just like riding a bike, eh? Lucky I've got the UK champion teaching me, so let's go meet him. Hi, Ed, nice to meet you, all right? I'm you Richard. You right, Richard? Yeah, I'm very well. So you're the UK champion, right? That's right. So um, we're at the skate park, and uh, you're going to be teaching me how to unicycle, right? That's right, yeah. Is it something that you can pick up in a day, or does it take like quite a long time to do? Some people can pick it up in an hour, others really? it takes a little bit longer. Wow. It completely depends on who it is. So safety gear, what do I need? We need a helmet, elbow pads and knee pads. Right, wicked. So let's get padded up and let's do it. Let's do this. So, Ed, what's the first thing you're going to be teaching me? Today I'm going to teach you how to get on the unicycle. OK. You won't be riding, because that comes with practice. But okay. we'll teach you how to get up on the unicycle and rock backwards and forwards. Right, wicked. So... So no. what you want to do, first things first... <laughs> Don't even know where to begin. <laughs> right, you want to put the seat between your legs okay. and you want to hold on to the railing. OK. And the next thing you want to do, always start with the pedal you're going to start with at the 4 o'clock position. OK. So, yeah about like that. OK. And then when you put your weight on that pedal, you then swing your other leg up onto the other pedal. OK. And now use that other arm you've got free for balance. So wave it around. It doesn't matter what that does. And... Wait, one more time. The pedal you're going to start at 4 o'clock. OK. Seat between your legs and swing up. You remember to use that other arm for balance. Yeah. And then once you're on, put your weight through the seat rather okay. than your legs and you'll find that's a lot easier to balance on. Oh, yeah. There you go. Oh, actually getting a bit of a rotation now. Yeah, there you ah. go. Keep that on for balance. Oh, this is it now. There you go. So where's the best place to practice for this? Somewhere you've got something to hold on to, like a railing or a wall, okay. and some flat, even tarmac. Ah. <laughs> Twists a lot. Once you've mastered this, you can then start to sort of push away from the railing as you get more confident. I don't think I'm going to get out <laughs> confident today. Well, thanks, Ed, anyway, for today. No problem at all. It's been good. I reckon a bit more practice and I can be unicycling in no time. You'll be away in no time. Wicked. Once you first learn, that's the hardest bit. Everything starts coming fairly naturally after that. I ride a little bit of BMX. It's not as hard as BMX biking. You can always just jump off, whereas you can't get tangled in it like you can in a bike. This is definitely one of the biggest challenges I've had so far on Weekend Download. But, I mean, with a bit of practice, I'm sure you can pick it up. It just takes longer than a day. Step one, find yourself a unicycle. I mean, you can buy one of these for less than £50. Then find a flat area to practice on, indoors or outdoors, it really doesn't matter. Step two, getting started. First, you need something to hold on to, like a fence or a friend. Then make sure you've got the pedal at the four o'clock position and place your foot on it. Then tilt the post back to fit under your legs. Hold on to the thing keeping you steady and pull yourself up using the foot on the other pedal. Takes a bit of getting used to, but once you're there, you're up, up and away. 
Step three, move him. Whilst you're still holding on to something, keep your legs bent and put all your weight onto the seat. Then, practice rocking backwards and forwards, slowly, using your bent leg to pedal. Try this 100 times and then switch legs and do the same again. You'll be stable in no time. It's a challenge, but it's worth it when you get there. Always wear helmet and pads and don't think of trying tricks until you've mastered how to rock backwards and forwards. These guys make it look easy, but they're experts. If there's one thing I've learnt today, is practice makes perfect. Who says two rules are better than one, eh? <laughs> Hold up, guys! 